Hey, Neva. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Aníbal. Good evening, Norma. Good evening, Berenice. Welcome to your last class a basic English, too. Hello, hello. Hey, Aníbal, este. Hello, hello, Berenice. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Norma. Good evening, hey, Aníbal. Gladys. Good evening. Oscar is getting into the class. Okay. Good evening, Oscar. Well, we're going to start with our last class. Okay, so we're going to complete the um, some, yeah. some info, but let us wait a little bit. But at least will be as a listener. Okay, good evening, Daniel. Okay. Some people are just getting into the class. That's fantastic. Let's give them some minutes. Okay, like two minutes more. Well, I, I know and I hope that you are more than ready tonight. You have been studying a lot. Is that right? Hello. As always, as always, right? Like Daniel. You see, Hello. Daniel has his humble there. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take it easy. Yes. 
We're okay. gonna. Yeah, I know that you are very anxious. You wanna, you wanna share what you have prepared for everybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let us wait a little bit. Well, I have uh, Daniel, Gladys, Veronica. Ronan is just getting into the class. Well, I would check list attendance because you know it's uh, three after eight. So I will do it. That's the first thing I will do tonight. Uh, I am extremely happy because of your performance in the basic English too. I will let you know about it at the end. So today is What's going on over here? Today is the 17th, right? 17th. Yeah, 15th. So yeah, it's over here. Okay. So we took list attendance. Then we're going to work a little bit in an exercise just before getting into, into um, the survey, you know, about about the curse i don't know if you already um receive uh, uh an email okay i have aidan belen claudia daniel present teacher good Maribel, Edgar, Clarice, Thank you, teacher. All right, Jonathan Josué, Maria Elba, Cristóbal, Berenice, I'm here, Michael, Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. All right. Eh, Oscar Antonio. Present. Good. Ronan. Teresa. And Veraliz. Veraliz is a, is a listener tonight. Let me see. Let me see the chat. I have five people over here. Aníbal is present. Ronan is present. Where Alice is present. Cristóbal is the other person. Okay. Okay, I hope the rest of the people gather in our last club well have like more than 10 people i think okay so welcome welcome back well i hope everybody's all right so we're going to start with the with the class by going to the platform and i <laughs> i will i will share something that's there i'm really happy because all of you have gotten 100 percent they, when I saw it, well, I, I got very surprised because this is the first time I get the 100% with all, the, with all of my students, and that's fantastic. Okay, so, well, let us go there. Let us have some exercises as a warm-up. We are going to go over some review. You know, you have already prepared something, right? And at uh, 8.20, we're going to start with the survey, okay? I hope everybody is here at that time because that is a very important activity. That's why we're going to work a little bit in the platform so that we can, we can make some time also for everybody to gather, okay, to be over here. That's important, very important. Okay, now before going to that part, well, you know, the last class we were talking about was related to how to use kin. Okay, we we were studying also about wood, could, kin, 
I think we we saw like some other expressions, right? I don't know if you remember. Would, could, can, etc. Okay, now. Well, I have this exercise and I hope you have already finished everything in the in the platform. I could see the 100 percent there, right? So it, it's then it means that you already finished with all of it. Now I have some instructions on here that says choose informal requests. Okay. I think it was Michael, right? So who, who did this exercise and he asked or he had a question. But let us see. What is the best option for when choosing for informal requests, people? Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Number two, could you carry this for me, please? Can you carry this for me? What 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 is it? This one is can, right? Over here. Can you carry? Can you carry this for, for me? Informal, right? Okay. Number three. Can I go with you? May I go with you? Can I go with you? Can I go with you? Uh, can I say something? Could I speak to you? Can I say something? Good. And the last one, could you help deliver these letters, please? Or can you help deliver these letters, please? Can you help deliver this letter, please? Can you or could you? Can you? Okay, so informal, right? So I will send it so I can get the 100% of all of it also. Now, and also I will check it. We're gonna check it. Okay, remember this is some review, right? So you already know this and you say, hey teacher, but I already finished with that. But I have taught you about the importance of uh, having some review, okay? And to repeat if it is possible. Yeah, actually that, those are the answers, right? I don't know why I can I cannot, I mean, <coughs> I don't know why it doesn't share the answers. Okay, but those are the answers, people. Okay, so, and, we we'll have 12 people more over here. It's, we're gonna start as soon as most of most of everybody um get into the class. Okay. So and this this was the last one, right? So this was this this was this is exercise 19, and this is the the, the class for today, right? So but since this is pure pure uh, practice, okay? I know that you already finished with the exam and you also finished with everything in the platform. So let me know what we have here. You you have to you, you have to choose can or could according to the situation. In the first one, you have oh. box, right? You help me, please. Can or could? Could. Could. Okay. Very formal, right? Remember, it's your boss. Asking to my friend. You help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Good. <clears throat> Number three. Hey, Maria. Can I speak louder? Hey, Maria, can speak louder? Could actually, I think it's something's missing there, right? Can speak louder? Let's see, we're gonna check it later. In a meeting, right? So I, I remember uh, Michael, right? 
So we got confused, but I don't know. What's the best option there? Everybody open your folders, please. Cool. 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 Cool, cool everybody. Good morning. How? How can I help you? How can I help you? Let's see. I think I need to check it first. Yeah, that was my mistake in the previous one. So you see the first one? Cool. Hey, could you help me, please? Second, can. Can you help oh. me? Yeah, right? Number three. Hey, Maria, can you speak louder? Uh, number four. Uh, could everyone open your folders, please? How can I help you? And that's it, right? So these activities are very simple. They are very easy. I, I know that you're already finished, okay? And that's it, right? So practice and review. So this is what we have here. Now I have 14 people and well, we're gonna start with that. Let me see what time is it. We're, we're missing six minutes, okay? Before starting, because we're going to start with the with the interview or with the sub with the survey at 820. So oops at 820. Okay, so let, let me know what you learned during the day. Uh Berenice. Something that you have learned in the in, in I mean today. Yes, this day is wonderful. This, that's what you learned today? Huh? Are you sure that's what you learned today? Um, now I make I have hunger with my son and a little bit. A little bit. Okay, Michael got into the class. Hello, Michael. Are you there? Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, good nice to see to you check. here. Good to see you. Are you having your dinner? Uh, yes. Yeah, what are you having? Yeah. Some beans? Uh, cheese? Beans, rice, cheese. Uh, bueno. Además, no sé cómo se dice. Creo que son crema y tortilla. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enjoy it. Uh -huh. Enjoy it. Okay, so hey, congrats because you know we finally got into our last class, right? So I hope you are you you feel happy because of it. Now, what what did you learn today, people? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Norma. What did you, what did you learn today? Daniel? Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, bitter. Que es amargo. I don't like bitter coffee. Ah, uh, okay. How many spoons of sugar do you need in a coffee? <laughs> I put two tablespoons. Uh, two tablespoons. <laughs> okay. So you love sugar then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, people? Well, we're gonna start with the with the survey. Okay. I will share a link. I don't know if you already uh I don't know if you have already seen this video, but well, but anyways, para hacer la encuesta hay un video que deben de ver antes, okay? No sé si lo pudieron visualizar en la en el básico anterior, pero de igual manera yo se lo comparto ahorita para que lo podamos ver todos y de ahí nos dediquemos a completar esa, esa actividad, ¿ok? Se lo voy a compartir en el WhatsApp también por si acaso a alguien se le dificulta trabajarlo desde acá, desde Zoom. Ok, lo que nosotros buscamos es eh, 
la sinceridad en sus respuestas, porque eso nos va a ayudar. Nos va a ayudar a ser mejores. Ok. Permítame que no me carga WhatsApp. Ahí sí. Vaya, por ahí está eso como para, para que ustedes se familiaricen con la encuesta, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer por ahí? La encuesta dura exactamente cinco minutos con once segundos, ¿ok? Entonces, veámoslo ahorita todos. Cuando termine de verlo yo acá, entonces vamos a comenzar ya a completar. ¿De acuerdo? Ok.
Ok. Este, ¿Ya verificaron sus correos electrónicos? Si efectivamente tienen esa información. Abren por favor la encuesta porque vamos a empezar a completar. Ok. Voy a compartir pantalla para que en caso alguien tenga alguna duda, pues por ahí tratamos de, de ayudarles. ¿Estamos todos listos? Yes, yes. Ok. Ok, encuesta de satisfacción. Inglés. Se solicita su apoyo para completar la siguiente encuesta de satisfacción. La información proporcionada será utilizada por Insafor para fines internos. Ok. Es muy importante para nosotros su opinión. Primero, como vieron en el video, ingreso el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Será proporcionado por el proveedor. Puede copiar y pegarlo. Ya se lo compartí en ambos lugares, ¿verdad? En WhatsApp y acá en el chat. Ok. ¿Ya lo tienen? Luego, su nombre completo. Eh, ¿A qué correo se refiere, Berenice? Al de la información, si gusta, se lo, bueno, se lo voy a compartir completo mejor acá en el WhatsApp, en caso usted no lo haya visualizado en su bandeja de entrada. Si sí, a, a lo mejor, pues, pueden ver en, es, en spam, algunas veces se van a spam algunos mensajes, pero es prácticamente este mensaje. Se lo voy a compartir completo en el WhatsApp, porque veo que por ahí hay alguien que no lo ha podido visualizar. Veamos. Give me a second, please. Ok, y esta es toda la información. Bueno, su nombre completo, su, el correo electrónico que facilitaron a... a Inglés corporativo, ok, número celular, sexo, departamento de residencia, este es una, aquí tienen opción múltiple, el, municipio, el municipio de residencia, Aquí sí lo tiene que escribir. Empresa donde usted trabaja.
nombre del proveedor con el que usted se capacitó. Y ahí ya tienen la opción. Ok. Nombre del curso. Luego acá hay algunos aspectos para que usted valore. Valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Primer aspecto, cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso. Y ahí va de insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno, excelente. Ese es el rango. ¿Ok? ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Recuérdense el rango. ¿verdad? Insuficiente, primera columna, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente. Aspecto 3. ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Luego nos pide en qué fecha inició el curso. Toda, toda esa información ya la tienen ahí con ustedes. En qué fecha finaliza, que es ese día. Pregunta 14. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? ¿Satisfecho e insatisfecho? Ahí sí, solo hay dos opciones. Número 15. Mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Y comentarios. Ok, déjenos un comentario por ahí. Y por favor, le dan la opción enviar para que eso quede registrado. Cuando ya lo hayan terminado, toman una captura de pantalla o una foto y lo comparten en el grupo, por favor. Por ahí ya, ya veo que algunos ya lo... Bueno, ahí está. Veo que algunos ya lo terminaron y están compartiendo las imágenes. Tengo 15 participantes. Voy a esperar que estén las 15 imágenes por ahí. Ok. Irán. No olviden ponerle, correcto, si se me olvidó indicarles eso. Colóquenle su nombre a la imagen. Ok, Vera Liz, gracias. Gracias, Aníbal. Perfecto, Berenice.
¿Cuándo inició el curso, profe? Gracias, Edgar. Ahorita le confirmo, Michael. El 19 de junio. Gracias, Edgar. Faltan nueve participantes que compartan, por favor. Ok, when we finish this, cuando terminemos esta actividad... Vamos a ir directamente a sus participaciones, ¿ok? Porque sí necesito que, pues, que se lleven una excelente impresión de su, de su propio esfuerzo. Ok, todavía no visualizo las demás capturas de pantalla. Ayúdenme, por favor. Ok, Cladis, gracias. Gracias, Jonathan. Ok, vamos, vamos, vamos a ver. Si por algún motivo todavía no lo pueden compartir, ok, está bien. Pero por favor, compártanlo esta, esta misma noche. Mi nombre es Enrique Ernesto Morales Portillo. El nombre del curso, ok, copiémoslo así como está acá, el básico, inglés básico. Y está, con sus comillas y todo. Ok. Ok, Michael. Ok, so, vamos a empezar ya con la actividad para que nos alcance el tiempo. Voy a dejar de compartir. Encuesta. Y comenzamos con nuestra actividad. Ok. I told you I want everybody to participate in this activity, right? So, let me see. Well, I will ask for volunteers as I, as I usually do it. Okay, but I, I, I need everybody to participate. Well, some people are still working right in the 
Okay, Dania, thank you very much. I got it. Well, since everybody is uh, participating tonight, let me see. I think there is we yeah, are Vera Liz is, is a listener tonight. But then everybody, right, is able to participate. So let's let's start with some with someone over here. Well, Teresa, good evening. Hello, hello. I think Daniel wants to to, to start, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were like like very uh, I mean you were waiting for this moment, I think, right? Okay. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> Daniel. Okay, mi tarea. Yeah. Hello. My name is Daniel. My first name is Daniel. My last name is Sifontes. I like English. I am from El Salvador. I live in Mexicanos. My mother lives in Mexicanos too. We live in Mexicanos. Mother, wife, son, daughter, brother, etc. How many brothers do I have? I have one brother. I always get up at 5 a.m. I take a shower every day. I usually eat breakfast and coffee in the morning. I don't like bitter coffee. I like to drink coffee and sugar and bread. How much sugar do I put in the coffee? I put two tablespoons. I work in an office. My job is full time. I go to work every day from Monday to Friday. Sometimes go to work Saturdays. On Mondays, my, my boss tells me, Daniel, please print the report. Daniel, please check your email. Daniel, please send the sales report. I eat lunch every afternoon. I rest for a few minutes, then continue work. I go to my home at 6 p.m. I am learning English. In the evening, I have to study English. Why do I have to study English? I have to study English because, because I want to speak English. In the evening, I'm not watching TV. I am reading a new English book. Why am I reading my homework? I am reading my homework because I didn't memorize it. Last week, I called to the TI, the TI department. I have a problem with my computer. DTI asked, well, how can we help you? What is the problem? My PC does not turn on. Could you check it, please? DTI asked, well, me. Okay, we will send the technician. I told them, thank you. In this English class, I have learning new expressions like time after time, run after. I have learned new words like chase, chase. I like to work in a group. You are a good group and good classmate. I will miss them. I don't forget the activities, presentation, and conversation. It was a creature working with the teacher. It was a picture studying English with you. Es uh, you have you have the picture with uh, about the origami, right? Tani. Ah, <laughs> me hizo falta ese. Sí. Cada vez por eso, ¿de acuerdo? <laughs> okay. Hey, you can you can keep the origami as a memory, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you see, Berenice has it, right? <laughs> okay, so who will continue? Who will? Okay, Berenice, go ahead. 
Okay, good evening. My name is Bernice. I am 26 years old. Um, but what is my bicep? Um, and now that I know how to say my routine and uh, with my coworkers and the boss uh, for related events of a little things, then check my email, write report, call clients, prepare for events, and now daily try to read more or writing and organize my daily routine. I understand the difference between how many and how much. For example, I uh, I can I can say you a question: How much stars are there in the sky? How much water in the ocean? Or how many how many countries are there in the world? How many bones are there in the human body? And well, I talking with my coworkers. Usually, I see them one day in a week. And these days, go out for the lunch or coffee together. But my boss tell me, when you finish, do you check your emails and the last one call you got out? But something, I take my phone and I use a microwave and go, but never eat in the floor. <laughs> uh, well, and now I can say how prepare a pancake recipe. Please, do you remember step for step? Yeah, I step put a cuff in a wall and I said, but and uh, two add two eggs and the cup of milk, put butter in the pan, toast the pancake, and do it in the pancake. Well, it's very easy. Then also learn to make a origami easy. It is there. Did you remember it? The first class in July uh, 19th? I can say that. <laughs> Now I listen to podcasts to improve the listening for uh, native people because rarely I need to talk with uh, tech support, but it's the first my boss make a report and I go to the for the IT department and they help me. When and I finish by saying that my days in a student will continue and they decide to continue learning every day with the support of my teacher and how was it very helpful. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Great. How long did you talk? How much time? Like like, like two or three minutes or, or more than three minutes, right? <laughs> okay, oh. that's that more than three, right? So uh, Daniel, you have the chronometer over there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so take notes please Daniel okay very good now I saw some messages so here let me see so Aníbal is participating there he says that he cannot let me see I will read oh, so he's and even you're not going to be able to participate, you you can't talk. Okay, thanks for saying so. Uh, okay, okay, and even that's quite good. Okay, next participant. Next participant, please. Let me see, Ronan. Hello, hello, Ronan. Are you there? Well, I, I will, I will ask every single person. So if if I if I do not get any answer, then I will start with with some exercises that I have prepared. Okay, so Daniel is you are done, Aiden. Okay, Aiden, go ahead with your homework, please. Yes. Good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Alan Ramirez. Uh, I am 41 years old. I have a wonderful family. My wife and my two children, 
uh, 14 and 8 years old. They are the reason to feel like it every day. Um, the second English mo model has been very in interesting. Saying the teacher has been very dedicated, dedicated, explaining every every detail of the program. As aspect for learning English, listening, uh, it is it's involved involved in identifying and processing the sound that allow you to understand letter accent. Speaking, speaking ability, fluency and pronunciation. Reading, reading that look for the keywords and uh, most important information to understand what the text is about. Writing, writing, uh, Write produce, production that we make in English. Motivation, determination to achieve a purpose. My day starts when I get up at um, 7 in the morning, 6 in the morning, take a shower, have breakfast, brush my uh, myself and then go to the office, arriving at the office at 7.15. Work hour at 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. During the work day, the first thing I do is check email, review the work progress uh, of the other collaborators collaborate at a virtual meeting for projects that are being developed. The work environment is excellent. I return home, home at 7, 6 p.m. Then have dinner to, the, to be read for English class at 8 p.m. These class are very, very interesting. On Saturday, uh, all day we attend church with my family. It is a very special day because we share with many people. Finish teacher. Awesome, Aiden. Awesome. Now listen carefully. Todos se van a asignar una nota, verdad, de cómo hicieron las cosas en el curso. Pero por supuesto, no van a decir que notas se han asignado. Eso es muy personal. Ok, pero de alguna manera yo siempre les he dicho es mejor que se autoevalúen porque así ustedes mismos van reconociendo su avance. Let me see. Thank you, Aiden. Ok, Aníbal says he's not able to. Belén. Let me see. Belén. So Berenice, I think Berenice is a listener, right? No, it's not, I mean, Veralice is a listener, right? Now, Edgar. <laughs> yeah, I know, Berenice, I'm sorry. <laughs> So Edgar, are you there? Gladys? Hello, teacher. Hello, Gladys, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, good evening. Uh, my name is Gladys Nieto. I am 25 years old. I live with my parents and my four brothers. Um, the week go to eat and first I went way up and get up at 
5.30 a.m., take a shower, have a bread of coffee for the breaks every day. Brush my teeth put on my makeup and the, I go to the office. I arrive at work at 7.20 a.m. And me, the first time is, no, me, the first time is at 5 o'clock p.m. I read my house at 6.30 p.m. Then I have dinner at 7.30 p.m. Um, in this model too, I, I learned a lot of things as well as a new pronunciation that I didn't, didn't know. What I feel I need to review is about the uses of the can and the code. Since for health reasons, I didn't know pay much attention to it, but it is a topic that I will have to review more. more. <laughs> uh, also, what I like about this module is that the class is very participatory and the teachers play in a way that is very easily understood. Mm, I also believe, believe that learning depends on each one. And thank you very much, teacher, for your teaching. Finish. Wonderful. Awesome. Awesome, Glad. Now that you're ready finished, you can grade your effort, right? Eh, evalúen yeah. todo, no es solo lo que han avanzado en inglés, no, miren, cuando uno hace una autoevaluación, uno evalúa el tiempo que dedico, después de trabajar, yo vengo, me siento, aprendo, participo, eh, trato de aprenderme la, las palabras nuevas, las frases nuevas, lo que, lo que se ve en la clase, o sea, es una autoevaluación gener generalizada. No solamente de, de, lo, de las dos horas que, que estamos acá, sino del esfuerzo que ustedes ponen fuera y dentro de la clase. Okay, let me see. Thank you very much, Belén. Berenice already participated. Claudia, I think Claudia cannot. Let me see. Claudia. Creo que Claudia dijo estar como que iba de, de camino a casa, ¿verdad? Entonces, no. Edgar, okay, Belén. Okay, Belén. Jonathan. Are you there, Jonathan? Hola, hola. Okay, go ahead with your homework, please. Um, no la he finalizado realmente. Ah, okay. So try to, try to, okay. Don't give up. Don't give up. No sean por vencidos. Está bien. Sí, es que, bueno, últimamente, como le mencioné anteriormente, estoy, me han cambiado de, de, o sea, de puesto, entonces me están capacitando y estoy así un poco eh, sacando tiempo. Además, con el negocio con mi hermano, todo, no sé dónde sacar. Pero vamos a seguir en el tercero siempre. Ok, excelente, John. That's what really matters, ok? Never give okay. up. Eso les iba, les iba a sugerir. No se den por vencidos. Luchen hasta el final y ya van a ver que poco a poco van a ir viendo los avances. Ok, after eh, Jonathan. Es porque se vuelve a hacer everybody, ¿verdad? Right? So, ver a Lizzie, a Salisner, Cristóbal. Michael, yes. Are you ready, Michael? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. It's a little bit my, my, the myself. Okay, it's all I, right. So share what I you have done. Okay. Uh, my name is Miguel Angel Cortez. I am 32 years old. I was born in Navisalco on August uh, when I was a child, I used to play football on the street with my siblings and friends, always in the afternoon. Sometimes I used to go swimming in the river, normally with friends, hardly ever with my family. Uh, when I was 10 years old, my family harvest radish and chives. We harvest this for many years. I was studying while I was studying while I work. After that, I study welding and I study an elect electricity course. Why I study in, in work in a carpentry? I worked there since I was 10 years old. Nowadays I work in agroindustry and I study English. I have a big family. My family is the bigger than others. But I am very happy with my family. I would like to learn fast English because it is so important. I would like to be a great person. Uh, this is a little, little that I can say about myself, teacher. Is, uh, is, that's it. Actually, you are a great person, Michael. Mm, you I'm are. Trying. You are. I'm trying. So you mm. see, Berenice is celebrating your like participation, it. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Berenice yeah. is celebrating. Okay, you you have some fun <laughs> over here, Michael. In the in the case in, in the case of my teacher, he's a friendly person. He's low his job. He always like to be on time in class. He also has a good teaching method. Uh, he not boring in class. He always explain to us the uh, the doubt that we do not understand. <laughs> That's all. Uh, thank you. Thank for okay. those words. Thank you, okay, uh, Michael. Thanks. <laughs> Let me see. After Michael, we have well. I don't know if Norma, are you ready? Oscar. Ronan. And Teresa. Oh, let me see. Norma. Ah, yeah. Okay. Norma, sir. I'm sorry. Be, be careful. Okay. So I think we are ready. Let me see. Teresa. Okay. Teresa, go ahead. So, Teresa, I don't know if you want to participate. Yeah, okay. I oh, know that's Ed. Let me see. That's Edgar, right? Okay, Edgar. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Good evening, class and teacher. Um, during the development of model two, uh, one of the most relevant aspects that have observed the better understanding of the topic has been the dynamic of interacting with classmates, proactive pronunciation through dialogue, the way in which there has been have new vocabulary, feedback on topics in the 
previous class. And I will look for a way to continue obtaining knowledge be uh, using mobile application, listening to music, or watching movies in English, reading text in English. Sometimes I would like to, to be able to live more early to dedicate more time to class and to be more active when it comes to reciting in my English class. Mm. However, something is uh, difficult for me. Uh, uh, the topic covered during the model of R, the description of activities in the workplace, for example, uh, write a report, uh, call pain, uh, uh, others at the of frequency, for example, always, usually, generally, time inspiration for activity, for example, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, <clears throat> expression of obligation or need to work, for example, have to, uh, need to, want to, like to. During the, mod during the model, we develop a cooking recipe with vocabulary in English. And in and in the same way, we did an origami, but activities help use to learn new vocabulary and expression. We learn to use the pre the present continue for future events. For example, Jose is receiving the new work tomorrow. Uh, also, how to use the present simple versus present continue. How to use the present continue with the uh, double question. A double question word, for example, what, when, why, which, who. <clears throat> uh, another, another topic seen in the class was how to prepare to report a problem with the equip equipment we have at uh, the workplace, for example, I would like to report a problem or I have trouble with uh, any device. Um, this is my little speech. Awesome, Edgar. Okay, now time to evaluate your, your performance, okay? Time to evaluate what you have done with the second level of English. Okay, something that I want you to to pay special attention is the level of English you are in, right? Yeah, you know, Michael is clapping now. Good. Now, the, about I want you to be aware about the how, how fast you are just learning, right? Because you are, you actually, this is your second month in the course, right? I mean, in the, in the English course, I mean, this is basic one, basic two, right? So you have been in, in a course for two months and you have improved a lot, right? A lot, okay? So imagine if you continue doing so, because that's why I, 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 I always like to say like, don't give up, move on, try to continue, okay? No matter how difficult you think uh, the, the courses are becoming, you know, because Little by little, this English course is going to be like harder and harder, okay? But do not uh, give up. Si ustedes se fijan, bueno, no sé qué notas si ustedes se han colocado respecto a, 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 su, a su desenvolvimiento en el curso, pero yo lo he notado, que okay? he notado muchos avances. Ok, he anotado adquisición de vocabulario, de pronunciación, etcétera, estructuras gramaticales, que en el caso, pues, si ustedes se fijan, cuando nos vamos a gramática, es como que no nos adentramos mucho a, a, a explicar gramática, sino más bien a cómo usar el idioma. Es, es muy bueno aprender cómo cómo es que el idioma está estructurado, pero es mucho mejor saber usarlo, ¿verdad? No es tan necesario como... Al inicio yo sí explico algunas cosas como estos son los object pronouns, los, los object pronouns o cualquier otra estructura que yo considero que 
qué bueno que los, que los participantes de básicos se, se familiaricen mucho con ello, porque así eso les, les va a facilitar eh, más adelante cuando los otros teachers ya empiecen a explicar algunas otras cosas, ¿verdad? Y ya ustedes de alguna manera van a ir captando con más facilidad lo que... Y, y recuérdense que también en los niveles eh, próximos el idioma español no se va a utilizar en lo absoluto. So, yo, yo creo que, que sí se, se ha hecho un buen trabajo, han hecho un excelente trabajo. Y les sugeriría que sigan adelante, que no se van a quedar y decir, uy, esto es básico, estuvo un poquito demanding, porque por ahí la vez pasada dijeron que alguien por ahí dijo que yo era demanding, que exigía mucho, ok, pero lo hago en, 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 en pro de su beneficio. Ok, um, let me see, por acá tengo algunos ejercicios. Yo dije, no me va a alcanzar las dos horas para que todos participen, pero sí hay algo que sí, sí les voy a pedir, que bueno, ya está como la tercera vez que se lo digo, que aquellos que todavía no han vencido, ¿saben cuál es el verbo vencer en inglés? ¿Quién se lo aprendió el verbo vencer? Escríbanlo en el chat, quiero ver. Ajá, ¿cuál es el verb? Now everybody's in the web picture <laughs> looking for for the word for the verb vencer in English, right? Now, did you get the word? To overcome is the word, right? To overcome. Okay. El pasado de overcome, overcame. Pasado participio, overcome. ¿Por qué les digo eso? Porque también es bueno que no se detengan a aprender verbos, porque así los van a necesitar más adelante. Mientras más verbos aprendan, mejor. Okay, let me see. Okay, very good. Berenice, Berenice, got it. Overcome. Good. Ok, para aquellos que no han logrado vencer ese, esa pena quizá o ese miedo a equivocarse, que lo hagan porque ya van para un básico 3, de ahí van a ir escalando a un intermedio y se van a dar cuenta que cada vez ser protagonista importa en la clase. Ok, ser protagonista importa. ¿Por qué creen que yo algunas veces en la metodología que yo utilizo y yo cierro mi micrófono, cierro mi, eh, algunas veces mi cámara para dejar que ustedes, porque aquí el, el importante no es, que, no es que yo practique el inglés, sino que ustedes practiquen el idioma. ¿Okay? Porque yo sé que mientras más practiquen, mejor. Y este, hay, hay un esfuerzo que ustedes hacen y que quiero que, que aprendan, ¿ok? que no es solo la clase acá de los 120 minutos. No es eso. ¿Ok? Es de lunes a domingo. ¿Ok? Todos los días del, del año. Para que avancen. ¿Ok? No es una obligación, es una sugerencia, ¿verdad? Pero algunas veces... Eh, hay, hay participantes que avanzan con más rapidez porque invierten tiempo fines de semana o se quedan pues estudiando quizás en la madrugada o, o después que se termina la sesión de clase pues se quedan revisando algunas cosas y pues por ahí como que como que van ganando un poquito más eh, de vocabulario y etcétera ok así que si aplica para usted pues tómelo como una sugerencia ok como un consejo y ahora sí, vamos con, lo, con los ejercicios que tengo por acá. 
Okay, the first, let me see. Give me a second because I have problems here. Okay, take a look at this, people. We're going to work in this exercise. As soon as we finish, I mean, the exercise is like 10 minutes. No, no it's not 10 minutes. Give me a second. It is like 3 minutes, 39 seconds, okay? So it's very fast. So you have the exercise in the WhatsApp group. Go there. And you also, I will, I will include the link in the chat over here. So what is all about? Well, listen and complete what you get there. It's about modal verbs. We have been studying about some of them, such as could, would, can. So you will see some, I mean, those modas in, in a video. So let us work on it like 10 minutes because I want you to type what you have got in front of the video. Quiero que vayan escribiendo las oraciones que obtienen de ese ejercicio, ¿ok? Cuando terminen, vamos a, vamos a invertir 10 minutos, ¿ok? 10 minutos en ese video, en resolverlo, ok, tener el 100% y ir copiando si ustedes quieren o si se los permite el video, si no, pues les va a tocar digitarlo, ok, 10 minutos para completar ese video, ok, cuando regrese ustedes me van a decir qué es lo que, qué es lo que aprendieron de ese video, ok, take 10 minutes people, 10 
Profe, vamos a hacer los, las 10 oraciones, completarlas o solo vamos a ver el video y anotar lo que, lo que entendamos. Well, you have to complete it, Michael. Tiene que completarlo y ya con la oración correcta pasarla a su documento Word. Ok. Ok.
Okay, are you done, people? Are you still in the part that says uh, about the P power? <laughs> You're still working there? Hello, hello. Okay, let me see if you already finished. Who already finished? Who finished already? Okay, who finished the exercise? Okay, before before we start with the exercise, I will ask, I will I will check list attendance. Okay, I wanna listen to you. Let me see. Today is Monday. Well, I, I will I will share the results that I've gotten over here. Now, Aiden. Belen. Claudia, Daniel, present. Sure. Okay, so let me know if you're if you're ready. Okay, Dina, Edgar, Clarice, present teacher. Yes, Jonathan, present. Okay, Maria sí. Elba, Cristóbal, Berenice, I'm here, Good. Michael, Noé, Xiomara, aunque no me gusta mucho, pues sí. Oscar Antonio. Present. Ronan. Mm. Teresa. And Veralis. I know this. there are some people who are listener to, listeners tonight. Okay, let me see. Berenice is over here. Mario Cristóbal, Aníbal, and Ronan. Okay, do you finish the exercise? Is it difficult? Difficult, easy? Very easy? Now, what did you get from the video? What did you get? Was according to the, to somehow to, to the previous classes we had about king, could, would, well, you, you also saw should, and, and there was another expression that I want, uh, that I think you you discovered tonight. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you get, people? What did you get? What did you get from the video? What did you get from the video? What, what did you get from the video? Okay, if you want to participate, participate now. 
because I have something else for you tonight. Hello, hello. Well, no participants about that. That was that difficult. I think Daniel was Daniel, do you want to participate? Déjame terminar de cargar el video. The video, no lo pude completar, pero sí. La primera parte sí. She can move her hair and sing at the same time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Ken there, right? So, but that Ken, it means uh, ability, right? Se recuerdan que estuvimos viendo cómo se usaban los algunos de los modales, porque hay más, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Ken, uh, for requesting in a very polite way, in, a, in an informal environment. And um, good was the opposite, right? Yes. And good. <clears throat> good and good. Okay. Uh -huh. What else did you get, Daniel? Ahí en la segunda teníamos que escoger una palabra que estaba de magia, de night. Exactly. Y en la tercera ahí se me se trabó el video. Ah, you, you were not able to see the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Okay, so don't worry, okay, I mean, don't worry, continue, I mean, solve it completely, and that will be my last homework, okay? <laughs> that will be my last homework. So if you if you were not able to complete the exercise, do it, but you're on, okay? And let me see, anybody else? Uh, that's, that's it, Daniel? Okay, no, anybody, okay any, anybody else? Michael, what do you get from the video? I cannot teach it. You can I can't see the video because the system of Zoom. But oh. igual solo solo the la, la, las preguntas logré completar, este, copiar. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So which are the questions? Uh, question on mix the sentence, uh, find the extra word. Uh, and, uh, question two, he might get the green light, light, light. Yeah, that's another model, uh -huh. right? Might. Uh -huh. Okay. And, uh, the, the four question, he needs how to learn things too. He needs um, how to dance. Um, he needs to clear. learn how to dance. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, uh, okay, Michael. Michael. The question five. I creo que era solo por la S de things. Ah, okay, uh -huh. so what's the person, yeah. right? Things things very very well. He can sing very well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. That was it, Michael? Yeah, well, lo hice, pero no sé si es tan bueno. En la Rosita me quedé. Six question, Rosita, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, that's what he said. Rosita should be more courageous. No sé cómo se dice. Courageous. Ah, yeah. that's, a, that's a new word, right? You should be like more courageous when participating. <laughs> so that was very difficult for me. Hoy sí me castigaron. Mm -hmm. Me han castigado. Básicos. Hoy sí me castigaron. Ok. ¿Anybody oh. else? Oh. And uh, number seven dice she shall leave him alone. 
She should. She should. She should. Okay, so should. that's a new model, right? So we didn't right. study those in the in the class, but you know, labs just for you to form some idea, to get some idea about some other models that you will study later. Imagínense esos modales se, se van a ver inclusive hasta ya en avanzado. Entonces es bueno que se los vayan familiarizando. Okay, eso se utilizan mucho los modales. Uh, pero es poco a poco. Okay. Now, something else? No more? Well, I think we're going to start. We're going to uh, finish by seeing the following video. Okay, the video is like 10 minutes. No more than that. And I, I was just uh thinking about what to say at the end of the curse right because you know i asked you to to create a, a a speech or an activity in which you show everybody and yourself that you were able to overcome that's a new world that we have been using tonight right that you were able to overcome the basic level of english number two Give me a second, because I have it doing here. Okay, it's a, like a motivational uh, video, a motivational speech. Okay, and I will share it to you in the chat. Now, when we finish, when, when you finish uh, the video, then you tell me, what do you think about the video? And that's it. We're going we're gonna to try to finish with it, okay? There you are. Are you ready? So do me a favor to see the video and get some vocabulary, please. And tell me what you think about what the person is, is saying. Okay? The video is 10 minutes. So we're going to spend 10 minutes and then you tell me what you got from the video. Hey, you can use uh, subtitles, right? Use subtitles, but in English.
Okay. Now I think you you saw the video, right? And you saw the message. <laughs> okay. Why be normal when you can be, you know, better? You better. Yeah, that's right. So, okay. And Niva, you saw it, right? Okay, now, hey, what was the purpose, people? What was the purpose of the activity? Okay, the purpose was somehow to say uh, see you soon or let's say a goodbye, but at the same time, al mismo tiempo, pues quería, al mismo tiempo de, de darle como un final a, al nivel básico 2, que en realidad están iniciando, ¿verdad? Pero al básico 2. Mostrarles que también existen ese tipo no, de, de videos, no, de actividades, speeches. ¿Cuántas frases hay ahí que nosotros no conocemos? Este, entonces, pues, esa es la segunda tarea que les dejo. Esa es la segunda tarea que, pues, investiguen también, que vayan este, buscando como material, ¿verdad? Que se vayan adueñando del material que ustedes quieran eh, invertir tiempo y aprender de ese material, porque el objetivo principal es aprender. Ok. Uh, no sé si hay reactions. Just to finish, ya para ir finalizando. Questions, reactions. Eh, ok, Daniel. No, no, un aplauso. Ah, okay. <laughs> but the video, I like the video. I like the video, uh -huh. right? So, okay. okay so I am was... going to see, I am going to see tomorrow, see tomorrow, time after time. Time, oh time after God. time, time after time. Yes, time after time. <laughs> time after time, okay, see, because it has a good message. Tiene un buen yeah. mensaje, okay? <clears throat> uh, the message... The message say don't give up. Don't give up. You matter. Uh -huh. Don't give up. Okay. Uh -huh. Es que algunas veces, miren, todo el esfuerzo que ustedes hacen, quizás no muchas veces, o el que nosotros hacemos, quizás no todas las veces, eh, se nos reconoce, ¿verdad? Y no lo hacemos para que nos lo reconozcan, sino que lo hacemos para, para nosotros mismos. En algún momento, yo les dije que pues si hay una competencia, esa competencia tiene que ser eh, contra nosotros mismos, ¿verdad? Y mejorar día con ah. día, ¿ok? No en el afán de ser mejor que otros, sino de, de ser mejor eh, uno cada día que pasa. Uh -huh. eso, ese es el mensaje. Y no, la verdad les dejo de tarea que lo vean, que le pongan el, 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 el subtitles. Y que investiguen las palabras, ¿ok? Que los investiguen y que se las aprendan, por supuesto, ¿ok? Um, bueno, de esa manera damos por concluido el básico 2 y les recomiendo que sigan adelante. Thank you for your support and patience with us. Ok, God bless you. God bless you. Ok, it was my pleasure, ¿ok? okay. Feliz y sí. orgulloso. Ah, miren, antes de que, de que nos despidamos, fíjense que quiero decirles que este, el 100% eh, de la plataforma lo tiene. Okay, todo, el teacher tiene 75, ya me vi. <risa> ya me vi que yo, yo, yo saqué mejor no, menor nota que ustedes. Pero de ahí, pues, todos eh, creo que, pues, Solo parece que hay una nota del 97, imagínense. 97%. De ahí todo 100. ¿Ok? Así que, pues, felicidades. La verdad, han hecho un, un gran trabajo. So, let us see soon. Vamos a vernos luego. No sé si, si voy a tener la oportunidad de encontrarme en los por ahí por avanzado, intermedio, no sé. Pero sería genial, ¿ok? Ver el avance que ustedes están teniendo. Eh, siempre con ánimos, con los diferentes docentes, ¿ok? Hey, eso sí, me voy con algo que, que, que sí quisiera que, que lo mejorara. Participación activa, ¿ok? Participación activa implica yo 
eh, me meto a los ejercicios, participo, aunque me equivoque, lo, lo único que va a suceder es que el teacher me va a ayudar. Eso es lo único. O algún otro compañero eh, que sabe mejor que yo, pues me va a ayudar. Eso es lo Otra cosa no va a suceder. ¿Ok? Así que les animo a que, pues, eh, to be more courageous <laughs> when participating. Ok. So, we're going to stop over here. Nos vamos a quedar acá. Si no hay más participaciones, más eh, alguna pregunta o algo. Profe, mañana es otro docente. No sé si ya mañana van a, van a iniciar curso. No, todavía no. Ajá, sí, porque sí me extraña que, que ya mañana, ¿verdad? Porque creo que hay un proceso por ahí y me imagino que ya les mandaron la información para que se puedan registrar en el, en el siguiente nivel. Sí, el, el correo sí ya nos mandaron para ah, okay. mandar la información y para inscribirnos en el siguiente nivel. De acuerdo. Ahí nos van a dar una fecha tentativa, nos van a pasar la fecha. De acuerdo, entonces vienen este la información que les están pidiendo y sigan adelante. Ok. So that's all for me and let us see soon. Ok. Good night, people. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. 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 Ok, it was my pleasure, ok. Gracias por la oportunidad, por el tiempo, por la experiencia y todo. Okay. En lo personal, quizás sí, tuve complicaciones y todo, y el tiempo no, pero bueno, vamos a ver, saliendo de esto y comenzando el tercero con todo. Así es la vida, Jonathan, hay altas y bajas, pero en las altas y en las bajas, miren el video otra vez y se van a dar cuenta que, que trae mucho beneficio salir de... de, de Tratar de no ser normal, si no seamos anormales, pero en el buen sentido de la palabra. Como dice el video, okay. profe. Okay. <laughs> believe in yourself. Uh, ok. Uh -huh. Don't stop believing, como dice la canción. Yeah, that's uh -huh. right. Ok. So, good night. <laughs> good See night. You soon. Pleasure. God bless you. Okay. Thank you.